Hey there, everybody, this is Potter Brown, and welcome to another Bind Reaction of My Hero Academia, Season 5, Episode Number 9. Okay, uh, as always, be sure to support the official release, and if you're watching this here on YouTube, this is a watch along, so use your own copy of the video. Uh, otherwise, you know, check the description, there will be a couple links down there that might interest you if you don't want to, you know, use your own copy of the video. Uh, so yeah, we're continuing on with the with the battles between Class A and Class B. Uh, teams of four, four on four. Uh, and I guess we'll see where it goes now. It's been uh, it's been an interesting fight. It had a, a win, a loss, a tie, and now I think it's the fourth battle. So let's see what they've got in store for us. And uh, yeah, a win, a loss, and a tie for each of the teams. Uh, <clears throat> let's see who pulls ahead, who gets the lead uh, in the fourth battle. So let's get it started in three, two, one, and go. All right. <laughs> 1年A組とB組のチーム対抗による戦闘訓練は。One win, one lost, and one draw. That's right. Yeah, we'll see how uh how this team does now. I mean, uh, you know, you got Bakugo on it, so he's no idiot. He knows how to strategize, how to fight, and uh, is not a pushover. And the other three aren't pushovers either, so. But then we'll see what the other team could do because they haven't been, uh, it hasn't been, you know, squash matches for either side. So, yeah, uh, All right, zero and zero. Bakugo. And Sato, yeah. See, they were talking about this girl here being a uh, early bird. All right. Yeah, the girl in purple. And of course, we're continuing on with the uh, biased. <laughs> You're not doing that to your teacher, though. Uh, 
Yeah, he's kind of interested in Bakugo. As someone who knows about, uh, about the power. Underlings. Ears. Ah, the aggressive style. What a shocker. Someone's got a quirk that... What are those, slugs? It's definitely screwing up her hearing. Oh. Interesting. Shoots out glue. All right. So we produce blades. I've seen similar quirks. Yeah. Nice cover in Baco. Well, damn, that's some impressive explosions. Yeah, he's on top of things. Well, someone's ambitious.
Yeah, that's what it looked like. Now, can you differentiate? And don't underestimate the others, though. I would think she would be the most tricky one to capture. You gotta capture her. I would think that Ciro is the way to go to get her. To bind her, bind up all the pieces. Oh, and then there's this guy. Yeah, I've seen this one before with, uh, He welded a tracker onto that Nomu bed. That's this kid, right? Not bad. What's this? And that is a brutal attack. <laughs> Get him to the... No, that's not what's happening here. That's what it may look like. Exactly. You thought that's what would have happened. Maybe back in season one.
Way to think ahead. Oh shit, that's a... What, you think they didn't learn anything? Now that was a squash match. And oddly enough, I was wrong. Ciro's tape wrapped around the other three, except her. Christ, it's not even the half... They beat them before the halfway point. Or it's a little after halfway of the... <laughs> you still gotta move. Still a dick, but... <laughs> He's not 100% a dick. It's not wrong. Poltergeist. Twin Impact? I think I've seen this kid before. Was he in, like, focus on OVA, I think? There's a difference between scary and spooky. But I guess with a quirk called Poltergeist... No. Don't, uh... Is it a bad plan? Let Monroe have 
O? So there are rules to what quirks you can copy? Hmm. And I'd assume, yeah, the ones that... A quirk that just changes your physical appearance doesn't change you. And, uh... One for all isn't probably one that he could use all that easily. And All right. And, of course, the episode ends about now, doesn't it? Alright. So, I think that they're going to win, but it's not going to be as... Uh, As much of a freaking squash match as uh, as Bakugo and team as a fourth match was, because that was just <laughs> total obliteration. But I mean, they've each got useful abilities, and uh. While, uh, the rest aren't as intelligent as, uh, and creative as Deku, Mina in particular, they have good instincts, and let's face it, Mina's not the smartest person in the world, is she? Uh, but the other three are from high to average in intelligence in the class, high to middle in intelligence, and uh, they all have good instincts, but Deku definitely has the uh, creativity to use, it's not bad. Uh, to use his abilities uh, to their best advantage. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be, yeah, it won't be that easy of, uh, and not to say that what Bakugo and the others did was easy, but I don't think it'll be that fast and clear cut and just total victory. Uh, all right, because yeah, if they gave one of them the quirk of the brainwash.
washing, but he said that he can't use that type of cork. Hmm. Like, what are the limits to his cork? Because I know that uh, using a cork that changes body appearance would, I think, not work. Uh, a cork such as all for and one for all wouldn't work either. Uh, the gravity thing, I think he would be able to do that. He would be able to spew acid if need be. Uh, he did, I think, at one point use uh, the hardening and explosion, so he could definitely do that type of stuff. I'm not sure if uh, if Mineta's would be useful because he wouldn't suddenly grow the sticky balls. But yeah, why wouldn't he be able to use the brainwashing? Did they explain that and I just missed that thing? But anyway, I'll have to look back and take a look at what he said. Okay. Just give me one second to take a look at this. Possible it'll be blank on my end. Hmm. So he doesn't know if it would work. It's just uh, it's possible it would be blank on my end if he doesn't know how. Like if he can't activate it, because it's clearly something that uh, that has to be thought about and consciously used. Oh, maybe he can, maybe he can't. Um, anyway. But yeah, if they gave him the quirk and he's able to use it, then he would definitely be useful in brainwashing the others. So they, the other team, of course, would know to keep their mouth shut around, uh, around the two of them. Don't rise to those unless they see uh, Monoma using another quirk. You can only use one at a time. Uh, unless that's changed. We'll see. Everyone's been showing improvement. Uh, anyway, so I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. But I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.